actually today we're going to do skin fold measurements. Um, so I'm going to use this skin fold caliber. Is it okay if I use that? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so what the skin fold measurements does, it helps us determine your body composition. So the first site that I'm going to look at is the abdomen. Uh, so actually you want to raise your shirt. We're going to go two centimeters away from the belly button and mark that. And then we're going to do a vertical fold all on the right side of the body. A vertical fold and then a centimeter higher. And actually, you have six millimeters of that. And then uh, we're going to wait and let her skin regain texture. So now that Ashley's skin has regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. So actually, raise your shirt again, all on the right side of the body, vertical fold, go up, and once again, we have six millimeters. So you can now we're going to take the measurement of the triceps, so I'm actually going to turn face the wall for me. We're going to go between the posterior midline of the ocranium process and the acromion. So we're going to just mark that there. <clears throat> we're going to do a vertical fold. And here I get 8 millimeters. So now we're going to take a second measurement after her skin has regained texture. So we're going to take a second measurement. And here, once again, I got 8 millimeters. Okay, so now we're going to take the um, skin fold measurement of the bicep. So we're going to go right over the belly of the muscle. Make a mark there. Vertical fold. And here I get 11 millimeters. Now that Ashley's skin has regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And once again, I get 11 millimeters. Now we're going to take the skin fold measurement of the pecs. So actually you're going to hold your shirt like that. We're going to go between um, the midline of the auxiliary, between the third of the way of the auxiliary line and the nipple. We're going to mark that. We're going to do a diagonal fold. And I've got four millimeters. Now that Ashley's skin has regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And the second measurement I get is four millimeters. So now we're going to take the medial calf skin fold measurement. So actually I'm going to put your right foot on the step there. So we are going to go to the max circumference of the calf. We're going to find its medial of its medial border, midline border, and then we're making an X. Vertical fold. And here I get six millimeters. Now that Ashley's skin has regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And once again, I get six millimeters. Now we're going to take the skin fold measurement of the mid axillary. Um, so, uh, actually, if you face the wall there, we're going to find the xiphoid process and go levels. So actually, you want to hold your shirt that way. There you go. And we'll make an X right here. It's going to be a vertical fold. And here I get three millimeters. So now that Ashley's skin has regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And once again, I get three millimeters. So now we're going to get the subscapular um, skin fold measurement. So we're going to go a centimeter or two below um, the scapula, which is right here. Do a diagonal fold. And here I get 11 millimeters. Now that Ashley's skin is regaining texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And again, I get 11 mil. Now we're going to take the super iliac um, skin fold measurement. So we're going to find, actually, I'm going to raise your shirt. We're going to find the anterior auxiliary line, uh, which is superior to the iliac crest. And we're going to make a mark. We're going to do a diagonal fold, which is going to be the natural angle of the iliac crest. Go above that. And here I get 15 millimeters. Now that Ashley's skin is regained texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And here, once again, I get 50. So now we're going to take the skin fold measurement of the thigh. So we're going to go midline between the proximal border of the patella and between the inguinal crease, which will be right here. We're doing a vertical fold. And then, oh yeah, hold that up for me. Thank you. And here I get 
14 milton. Now that Ashley's skin is regaining texture, we're going to take a second measurement. And once again, I got 14.